I call this project the tree. It enables me to grow leafy greens in 36 growing sites in a two-foot square area. The first part of the procedure is to drill half-inch holes at a 45-degree angle in a 6-inch sewer drain PVC pipe. I use an old inner tube and some squares cut out of it to help to hold the drill guide in place as well as a rubber bungee cord so it does not slip around on the PVC. This holds it in place well enough so that I'm able to get my holes started. It takes particular care when starting the holes. Once you get the hole actually started, then you can push the drill through. The drill does want to slip around, so this is why I use a lot of different rubber pieces to help the drill guide stay in one place. The way I lay out the pipe is to chalk line eight different lines equally spaced on the tube. Once I get my eight lines, I'll take five holes on one line and four holes and I mix them back and forth five and four until I get all eight lines filled for a total of 36 holes. Each row has an offset three inches from the top or six inches from the top and a foot in between each hole. This project can be very difficult. There is a small outlay for parts and the actual PVC itself is relatively inexpensive. Next, I've made a little jig for the hole saw so that I can zip right through all the larger holes that I need to cut on my 39 degree angle. I take my jig and I make sure it is firmly held in place with a rubber bungee cord that's extremely tight and then just a regular bungee cord. On the drill, I've replaced the drill bit on the hole saw with a drill guide that's a quarter inch. It's basically a piece of welding rod that's a quarter inch and extremely stout. And I just took that and ground down the end so it makes a wonderful drill guide. I don't want to cut into any of these holes. I just want the hole saw to be guided through easily with my bit there. This jig helps me to be able to stay on target with my angle. I don't do the complete hole 
because the hole saw is not deep enough to get through. So what I have to do is cut a small portion of the hole with the hole saw and then come back later with the jigsaw, cut that out, and then I can finish my cut with the hole saw. Keep it rolling because what I'm going to do, I figured it out. I got to go all three and then cut it with a jigsaw, all three. So it'll be okay. Just keep it rolling. Using the jig now, I'm going to cut as many holes as I can, going one right after the other so I can speed up the process. I'm going to begin the holes. Take the jig off and then use the jigsaw to cut down through so that I can finish. If you notice, I'm using a drill bit that's quite a bit bigger than the jigsaw blade, and I'm also cutting below the, the drill guide hole. If you look, you'll notice the drill guide hole stays intact completely after I use the jigsaw because I want that drill guide hole to guide me throughout the entire process including finishing the hole so I don't cut through the drill guide hole with the larger drill that I use for the jigsaw. I also want you to recognize that I'm very careful about my jigsaw blade not touching the actual hole on the outsides because I don't want jigsaw cuts around my hole when I glue the two inch PVC angle pieces in I don't want cuts so I'm very careful to only go to the line and stop
I love the rubber strap. It really helps hold everything firmly in place. It's tricky, but I can get the hang of it. Basically, I'll cut five at a time. And that will make it go fairly quickly. Of course, I'll sand these holes down, but basically I'll glue my pieces in just like so, and they'll be perfectly tight. And they're all uniform. I have five, and then I have four in the middle, and then I go back to five. That's all for now. Part 2 is coming up.